Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I feel like my camera is just like constantly stuck on an angle. I don't know if it's my floor, my tripod, or my camera, but whatever. I feel like we're just constantly kind of wonky and drunk here. But anyway, I have got a really juicy, big summer essentials haul. And you will notice, that apart from what I'm wearing here, which actually, oh, is dirty. Whoops. I don't know if that's the smoothiest built on myself. Ew. Um, yeah, these this isn't actually part of the haul. I just put these on because it's like hot and I am comfortable in these. But yeah, apart from the blue short switch from Zara, I only have one piece of actual colour in this haul. And that is because I am a sweaty, sweaty girl. And I don't really wear that much colour in summer. I way prefer neutrals unless I'm just dressing up like in one real statement piece. So this is a summer basics haul. So this is why everything is kind of in really muted colours. I am who I am. If you're a neutral beige girl like me, welcome if you're into colours. I'm really sorry. This is going to be so disappointing for you. So let's just jump in. And we're going to start with this dress. So I've been working with Abercrombie for a while now. And you know I love that stuff. So we're going to talk about it anyway. I, I, I was always like an organic shopper of Abercrombie way before I ever worked with them. But let's talk about this dress. This dress is sold out. So there are so many flies in this room and they're really distracting me. So this dress um, actually has sold out several times online. And it's been, I think this might be its second or third summer of being part of the collection because it is such a huge sellout and it comes in multiple colours. Only thing I will say right with this, and there's been a little bit of a mistake with the tagging. The thing with Abercrombie, which is amazing, is most of their dresses and trousers and everything come in petite, regular, or tall legs. And I think that's amazing as a short girl who likes short dresses, it's perfect. So I ordered this in a small petite, and the label says small petite on it, but the actual tag itself says small. ST, which means small tall. So I've been sent a tall one, which is really sad. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on anyway, just got, like tucked up, just so you have an idea of what it looks like. I have this dress already in another color and it's just so beautiful. It's such an amazing dress. I think it's like the whole like, I love the whole like feminine milkmaid vibe. Like I always kind of like sort of go between the more masculine look and then also the whole super feminine look, but it's super stunning. Then, now, this is like my favorite piece. So this is a jumpsuit from obviously Abercrombie and I went for this in the small regular length simply because I find that I quite like, sometimes, sometimes the length and the legs of petite Abercrombie stuff, like if it's trousers or jeans, sometimes I find it can be a little bit short on me. Maybe I just have long legs. Even though I'm five foot three and I'm technically petite, I think I might just have long legs, but anyway, I went for the regular length and it fits perfectly because it means I can wear it with heels and also with trainers or sandals and it still looks great. My only regret is that I didn't get it in an extra small because you definitely can afford to go down a size in this because it's got this smocked back and it's stretchy and also like it, it can sculpt you. It's nicer for it to be that little bit tighter up top and then like it flares out and it's looser in the legs anyway. So if you're between sizes, you definitely can afford to size down. Next up we have it's little baby sister brother sibling it is the romper slash play suit version of it depending on where you're from in the uk we call them a play suit so this is it's so cute and just i love these pieces so much because they're so easy to just wear in different ways like you could wear that with cowboy boots you could wear it with a blazer and heels on a nice out, night out you could wear it with blazer and heels on a night out on holiday you could wear it with sandals trainers like there are so many things you can wear it with it really is the ultimate piece and it's something that you should definitely get this summer because it's going to give you so many variations and looks and it's something that is a very smart option to pack if you're going on holiday especially if you have hand luggage only because you can dress it up in so many different ways now let's let me introduce you to the only colorful thing that i have and it's this amazing top from cotton on it's this knitted kind of like open front top it's so cute baby blue is one of my favorite colors to wear and i just think it's really pretty so not really much else to say on the matter here it's just a very cute top i'm obsessed with summer whites it's pretty much the only 
color it's not really a color but it's one I, I feel like you can't really wear it that much in winter but i can really i just really love wearing it in summer so i got it in white as well and i just love how this looks i love how it fits it feels like really feminine and girly but also quite sexy as well because it's kind of like low cut and cut out and cropped and i just think it really sort of plays into the whole european summer vibe everyone's like obsessed with the whole euro summer euro summer we all are like the whole gorgeous dresses somewhere in italy somewhere in south of france like wherever we're all obsessed with that aesthetic right now and this definitely plays into it like this looks so good with shorts denim shorts little shorts even these shorts like maxi skirts trousers like you know i'm all about buying smart essential and i mean smart as in like not like aesthetically smart i mean like intelligent pieces that you can wear with so many different things and that does a lot for your wardrobe on that topic got three new basics i am obsessed with like i think they call like the baby tea or like baby teas i don't i guess because they're cropped i don't know either way i keep seeing them being called this in different places but i've got them in black gray which is obviously danger zone with sweating this is literally going to show up so much sweat so this is definitely for a cooler day and then the white one this is quite kind of a risk getting getting this to be honest but we we won't talk about that and I just love how these look. I love, I just, I'm a real mix and match kind of girl. I, I love wearing simple tops and cool trousers. That is my kind of thing. It's my go-to everyday look. So just having a nice set of these is perfect to have in the wardrobe this time of year. Now I've got this little waistcoat from Cotton On. Not like a waistcoat, it's like a, I don't even really know. It's just a top with hook and eyes and it's so sweet and delicate. You've got this obviously really gorgeous little like lace eyelash detail around it. And it has this, pin tucking along the side as well and then it's got like you know obviously it dips down at the front so i think it's a really unique piece the only thing i would say about this is i personally just wish that it came down a little bit lower not so it's like super cleavage i feel like the neckline feels so high it's just not the great greatest on bigger boobs and i just feel like anyone whether you've got boobs no boobs whatever it would have just maybe been a bit of a nicer fit in general and looked a bit nicer if it kind of came down a little bit here. It's an easy fix. I'm, I'm trying to teach myself how to sew and do alterations with a sewing machine. So it's something that I probably... Mm, would I be able to work? I feel like I could work it out myself. Like I could just detach the lace a little bit and if I just move this down a little bit and then reattach the lace, I probably could do it myself. Another very cute white top, but I will say this one came slightly damaged. You can see when I get close to the camera that the button, the elastic where the button is, is kind of stretched and very close to popping off, which isn't ideal. It's so gorgeous. It's such a cute piece, but obviously that's really frustrating. It's something that I can easily fix again, but also kind of annoying that you have to fix it, but really cute. It's from Stradivarius, and I... I've got a lot of pieces from Stradivarius to show you. Cotton On, Stradivarius and Bershka have been, and Abercrombie are my go-to brands in the summer. I, I honestly just love them so much. So we've got two oversized shirts here from Cotton On. It's the same shirt. What's that? It's just the, I think it's just, it's a dad, the dad shirt? Are they both the dad shirt? Yeah, both the dad shirt. And this is in like a kind of off-white color. And then we've obviously got the black. I feel like this is something my boyfriend would absolutely love. He'd probably, he'll probably steal both of them at some point. But I got them in a size large so that they could fit and have that perfect oversized look. And they're really good for just like throwing on on top of things, especially if you like covering up in the summer a little bit. Like I am someone who, I don't tan, I don't want to get, burn so i will cover up a lot because i don't want to be getting any sunburn or causing any damage from the sun to my skin now these trousers i love these so much so these are these are stradivarius and they look so good let me just sh let me just skip showing you the one thing i will say about these is a criticism they're a little bit on the itchy side inside on my thighs so i don't know there's something in the fabric that is a little bit itchy but i am very sensitive to itchy fabrics which is just it is who i am i can't i can't change that it's just i always talk about this especially with jumpers but now we've got it in summer but yeah so it's something to think about if you're also really sensitive to things but i i really love how these fit and i'm hoping that once i've washed them it might bring the itchiness down a little bit now these ones are i feel like are they meant to be the same but they they don't feel like they're the same. Let me just check their their product codes. So 
no, they're totally different. They're probably going to be totally different, okay, which makes sense because I was going to say these fit different. And also the fabric of these is way nice. It's really annoying because I way prefer the fit of those, but the fabric of these, so much better. It definitely feels like a more expensive linen-y mix and it feels like a heavier linen-y mix and that like, not like heavy as in like thick, but like weighty and it fits really nice and drapey on the body. But I just don't like how these generally fit as much if that obviously makes sense but i still love them and they're still great pieces to have for holiday and great pieces to have for summer then we have these shorts from nasty girl as well and these are also a little bit on the itchy side i don't know am i just not super sensitive but they're very very nice i think they'd be so gorgeous for a city break because they're really cool i love how they flare out so much i think they're a really nice fit because they're super fitted on the waist and they flare out really nicely i think just with like a little black top with some sunglasses cute sandals maybe like an oversized jacket that kind of thing and some like, little basket bag something like that or to be honest i'm not are we still doing basket bags? I feel like basket bags in summer are always cool. But like, I just like a little like, little baby shoulder bag. I think that would be like the cutest. Two more super cute summer basics. So these kind of remind me of like, a, this one especially, just kind of like Carrie Bradshaw vibe. It's just a very simple dress. I feel like it just, it reminds me a little bit of like one of the black dresses she wears and it just fits her body so perfectly. And she just looks so cool. She's got her big hair, simple black dress, and she just looks very cool. And I just, I love the idea of styling this with a pair of monogrammed vintage heels, like a pair of like, there's these Gucci shoes that I bought recently and they're amazing. They're like this one, oh, they're so good. Like just, I love like making this kind of like 90s, early naughty vibe with matching monogram bag and shoes i think it would just look so so cool and like maybe a oversized biker jacket or like a racing style jacket such a vibe and i obviously bought it in white my obviously these pieces are so easy to wear no matter what you choose to wear them that's the whole point but i like the idea of wearing this with a really oversized blue shirt kind of worn either done up on top or worn open and just that kind of very simple off duty summery vacay vibes. I didn't really think a smock dress was my vibe, but I wanted to try this from Cotton On and I'm really glad that I did because I think one thing I felt like I lacked last summer was just some really easy throw on dresses, especially if I was going to go and lie in the park and do a whole bikini situation in the park. Don't judge me, it's what we do in London. It's on very hot heat wave days. It, it, it's what we do. I sit in the shade, my friends sit in the sun, but it's, <laughs> Please don't judge us. We don't have a beach, so otherwise we're gonna sit there and we're gonna sweat in our clothes, or it's like, what, we're we gonna take off our clothes and be comfortable? Do the latter. I would have loved something of this last year to have just thrown on top of bikinis and things like that. It's a very good one for holiday for that reason as well, because you can obviously like throw it on top of your bikini, go from beach to bar, and all that kind of thing. Very, very cute. Also, it's so light and breezy, so it's one of my favorite things from this whole entire haul. I'm loving the whole bohemian vibes. We have seen people wear these with big disc belts and obviously a lot of you guys who do subscribe to me here are probably gonna be my age as well maybe a little bit younger maybe a little bit older like so i'm 32 this year i remember when you know we had sienna miller wearing skirts like this with the big disc belt and we we look back at that maybe a few years ago being like oh my god hideous and now i'm like i want a big disc belt to wear with my boho skirt obviously i want to go full sienna miller so <laughs> i'm obsessed i love it I have already worn this out with a low slung belt on it, just not a disc belt. We're gonna get there eventually. These maxi skirts, once again, I'm obviously loving white. So I've got the same maxi skirts before in white, but I really love this one from Bershka even more. And I feel like it might have sold out, which is really sad, but I kind of get it because it's kind of like the skirt of the summer. So I wore this recently with cowboy boots and a black, little black vest top like this and then um, a belt and it just felt like such a vibe. This is a whole like Sienna Miller thing that I'm kind of like talking about. I just feel like it was very Sienna Miller vibes in the mid to late noughties and yeah, we love it. I don't care, I don't care. But yeah, anyway, this is my summer essentials haul. I feel like I've done enough shopping and I've got all my serious basics and key pieces now that I can really mix and match and wear together. I really love that some of these pieces they really work so well together. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this and I'll be back soon with another video.